Welcome to the Texas Association for College Admission Counseling College Fair. We are so excited to have you participating in this event. I'm Jennifer and I'll be your facilitator today. We have some fantastic schools. Each school will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but they're going to be here for the entire session to answer questions. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements. Your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen, though, to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can leave a question for all of our representatives to answer if you're wondering about a certain major or program. But you can also direct a question to a specific school by including the name of the school with your question, so that representative knows you want to hear from them. This is just one of many different sessions that have been happening for Texas students. We hope that you have checked out the schedule on the website and have even registered for the round that still is to come. This presentation, like all presentations, is being recorded and it will be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. All right, I'm excited to turn it over to our very first school. We're gonna be learning about Texas Tech University. Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for being here today. I'm Teresa. I'm from Texas Tech University and I am super excited to share with you guys about Texas Tech. Texas Tech is located in Lubbock, Texas. We have roughly 40,600 students as of fall 2021. Um, we are a growing institution. We will probably hit 41,000 this next year. Um, and so we are excited to share our growing campus with you guys. We do have a 19 to 1 student to teach your ratio and we plan to keep that as low as possible as we like to provide hands-on one-on-one experiences for our students. We're a tier one research university. We are one of 16 institutions to be a Carnegie tier one research university and we have our Hispanic serving institution designation as well. A most common asked question that I get a lot is, what is the GPA I need to get into Texas Tech? We don't have a minimum, but our average for our fall 2021 class was a 3.6 unweighted GPA average. Some of our special recognitions include being number 72 um, of Best Value Universities by Forbes. We believe in affordability at Texas Tech, providing the highest quality education we possibly can for a really, really great price. Another really great um, recognition that we have is 25% of our students are first generation. So if you are a first generation student, I highly encourage you to consider Texas Tech as we have lots of living learning communities and resources for you um, to be involved at Texas Tech and to find that support that you need. We are a diversity champion by insight into diversity. Like I said, we are a Hispanic serving institution and we are on our way to becoming a minority serving institution. That's one of our our next goals that we are hoping to achieve soon. We are a five-star premier campus on the Campus Pride Index, meaning that we are an LGBTQIA friendly university, ranking number five in the state of Texas and number 25 in the nation. Lubbock, Texas is home to about 250,000 residents and growing. I like to say um, being born and raised here. It is a larger city, but with a small town feel. It's one of those places where maybe not everybody's going to know your name, but it's going to be close to it. They're really going to care about you and what you're doing at Texas Tech. With all that being said, most of our students, 78% actually are from further than 300 miles away from Texas Tech. So we have lots of students from the Metroplex areas in the state of Texas, as well as other states across the nation. Academic opportunities, we have 150 programs at Texas Tech housed in 10 different colleges. We do have a school of law, a graduate campus and a health science center all located here in Lubbock on our campus. Our school of veterinary medicine that opened this year is in Amarillo, Texas. Um, we do have the pre-professional program here at Texas Tech on our campus, but we do house that up in Amarillo. Their inaugural class is super excited. Here's all of our um, academic programs as far as our colleges go. Anything from agricultural scientists to visual and performing arts you can find here at Texas Tech. Our Honors College is a unique opportunity with smaller class sizes and early acceptance programs to our medical school and our law school. If you are a gifted and talented student who maybe thinks a little bit different and learns a little bit different, then Honors College would definitely be the place for you. They also have their own residence hall and get to register early for um, classes. 
With over 550 student organizations, you can find something to do at Texas Tech and someone to join here. Building community is really important for us. We do have 19 residence halls and 30 dining venues, as well as you can see our lovely rec center. All of that is included with your tuition fees and room and board. We are driven by our Division I Big 12 athletics. It's definitely a culture here at Texas Tech and definitely something that we love to showcase. If you've caught our uh, boys lately in basketball, we did make it to the Sweet 16 this year, and that's something we're really proud of. Here are our dates and deadlines coming up this year. Our applications will open on July 1st. Basketball will be available on October 1st, and our priority deadline for scholarships is going to be December 1st. That's a really important deadline for us, and just keep that in mind as you go through the admissions process. To apply to Texas Texas Tech University, we accept Apply Texas, Common App, and Coalition. None of them are preferred over the other, whichever one you feel the most comfortable using. We do have a $75 application fee, or you can apply for a fee waiver. And we do something called a self-reported academic record. This is where you're going to get a transcript from your counselor. You're going to upload those um, those scores in your classes onto our Raider Connect website, and we're, it's going to generate a report for us to review. We are a test optional campus until fall 2025, so you do not need scholarship, or you do not need um, SAT or ACT scores to be to apply, be accepted, or receive scholarships at Texas Tech, which is super awesome. Here's how we review those applications. So if you're wondering, here's some of the things that we are looking for. And like I said, we are test optional, but we do encourage you to include something like an essay or a letter of recommendation for us to get to know you as a student. Here's our national um, scholarship program that we see oversee our presidential merit scholarship. But we do have uh, scholarship programs for students who do apply test optional. So scholarship money is out there and we are really excited about that. Red Raider guarantee if you um, or your family has an adjusted gross income of under $65,000, um, we do work with you for our Texas residents with this program. And then if you would like to join our mailing list, we would love to have you come visit us up in Lubbock, Texas. And like we, like we always say, Reckham Tech. Thank you so much for starting us off and sharing Texas Tech with everyone. We are on to our next school. We're going to be hearing from Texas Lutheran University. Hey, Kelsey, you're muted. Hi, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jennifer. It happens to us all, don't worry. And your screen is shared, it just hasn't gone to full screen yet. So I'll, I'll disappear if everything's okay, but I want perfect. Looks great. We can hear you, perfect. see everything. Take it away. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Well, hi, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining today. My name is Kelsey Cruz, and I serve as one of the assistant directors for admissions at Texas Lutheran University. And to go ahead and get started, I want to talk to you about TLU. So we're going to be a private four-year faith-based university located in Seguin, Texas, and we're going to be affiliated with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. So I do want to mention that even though Lutheran is within our name, you do not have to be Lutheran to attend TLU. We accept all religious faiths and beliefs, and we are very inclusive and diverse as well at our institution. And with the Hispanic student population of 40%, TLU is going to be a Hispanic serving institution, which we are extremely proud of. Um, more than half of our students are also first generation, uh, meaning that they're going to be the first person of their immediate family to attend or graduate from college. And also many of our faculty and staff um, are also first generation college students, including myself. And what's really great is that actually our TLU president is first generation too. Uh, we have approximately about 1,400 students, which leaves your average class size of 19. So your professors definitely get to know you by first name and they want to make that connection with you and help you through your college journey. And then I do want to mention that over 60% of our students do live on campus and approximately 90% of our first year students will live on campus as well in one of the four dorms that we offer to our students, which includes Centennial Hall, which is a community style dorm, Trinity, Baldus, and Clifton are going to be our more of our suite style dorms. This is gonna be a full list of our academic majors here. And the majors that are listed in bold are our most common majors that students go into. So that includes biology, business, education, kinesiology, and psychology. And I do wanna mention we do offer four graduate programs at Texas Lutheran. These are gonna be the nine professional health programs that we offer at TLU. And what's really great is that students that are interested in to 
pursuing one of these fields can actually have an advisor who's going to be a faculty member um, who serves on the health proficient advisory committee and so they'll make sure that you're taking all the um, coursework and prerequisites in order to be prepared for medical school or PT school. We do offer study abroad opportunities for our students. Um, we work with over 100 universities in 54 countries on six continents. Um, but our most popular program that we work with is gonna be Holliston College based in England. The um, next thing I'd like to go over is gonna be getting involved on campus. And um, one way students like to get involved is gonna be through performing arts. And so if you are um, participating in band, orchestra, choir, or theater, you can definitely still participate that in college and at TLU. If you're wanting to major in one of those fields, you can actually receive up to $7,500 per year through an audition. And for non-majors, up to $3,000 um, per year through your audition. We do have over 100 different campus or organizations. I like to say there's something there for everyone. It ranged from professional, departmental, honor societies, social, such as Greek life, campus ministries, and religious organizations. One third of our student population are going to be student athletes, and they can participate in one of our 19 men's and women's teams. So we definitely offer that Division Three athletics. There are going to be three ways you can apply to TLU. First one's going to be the direct TLU application on our website, Apply Texas, and the Common App. But no matter which way you apply, there's no application fee to apply to TLU, and your application for your um, admission also serves as your application for the academic scholarship that you receive when you gain admission to TLU. These are gonna be the required documents that you'll need from you. So of course, the application itself, the writing sample, high school transcript, and test scores. I do wanna mention that we are gonna be a test optional institution. And so you do not have to submit test scores in order to be admitted to TLU. However, in, in my next slide, I'm gonna talk about how you can actually receive an additional award on top of your academic scholarship, depending on which score you get. There's gonna be some deadlines to keep in mind um, whenever you're going through the process. And if there's any seniors on here, there's still plenty of time for you to apply and still um, scholarship information, scholarship money, and also financial aid as well. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is the academic scholarships and awards. Do wanna mention that over 95% of our students do receive some type of financial aid and our academic scholarship ranges from 12,000 all up to $22,000 per year. Here's gonna be our academic scholarship levels. Like I mentioned earlier, our academic scholarship is gonna be from 12,000 up to $22,000 per year. And it's based off of the student's core GPA. And I do wanna mention that still test optional students can still receive this academic scholarship. And you'll receive this throughout your whole time at TLU as long as you maintain a 2.0 cumulative GPA and remain a full-time status student. Like I mentioned earlier, if you happen to decide to submit test scores, depending on what that score is, you can actually receive an additional award on top of that. And here is going to be the scores here, and you'll receive this throughout your whole time at TLU. These are going to be other awards that you can receive through TLU. So if you indicate that you are a Lutheran on your application, you can receive to $1,000 per year for the Lutheran Advantage Award. If you've had a parent attend TLU, you can receive to $1,000 per year for the Legacy Award. And then if you are a dependent of a Lutheran pastor, you can receive to $1,000 per year for the Lutheran Clergy Award. I do want to mention that we do accept outside scholarships, so definitely speak to your high school counselors about any scholarships opportunities that you can apply for within your school district or within your hometown. And then we are open for on-campus visits, so we would love to have y'all on campus, so um, please visit us. We'll get to go on a tour and attend a class as well. And thank y'all so much. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for sharing. Texas Lutheran University. Our next school today is going to be the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you all for the great presentations. Is it in slideshow mode now? It's coming. It started. Yep. Oh, there we go. Just pop through. You're all set. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Hi, everyone. My name is Kelsey Kaplan. I'm an assistant director here at UNLV. I actually am an alumna of UNLV myself as well. So I'm very familiar with the campus community and what it's like to be a great student here at UNLV. Uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas is what UNLV stands for. So we are located in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. Uh, UNLV is a top tier research institution. 
We've only been around for about 60 years in our short period of time that we've been founded. We've grown from being a small branch college to a large diverse research institution. UNLV consistently ranked, ranks as one of the most diverse institutions in the nation. We do have both Hispanic serving institution and our minority serving institution. We are, being a such a diverse campus at UNLV, we do get students from all over the world. We have a very large international student population. One of the reasons we have such a large international student population as well is due to our top ranked hospitality program. So UNLV has over 80 majors here in 300 different programs. Um, being the only university in the entire city of Las Vegas, we really do serve our community and we have a lot of different programs and opportunities for students depending on their interests. We, like I mentioned, have a top hospitality program. Additionally, we have a top rank, our engineering program. We have some new jumps in our rankings for some graduate programs. So our undergraduate engineering program is also growing. We have a brand new building that we just got funded to build. We have a top rank nursing program as well. Our nursing school is competitive. And those are some of the highlights, but again, you can study just about anything you can think about here at UNLV. We also have an honors program here at UNLV. Our honors college is a small selective group of students. The students in the honors program go through two years of a heavily honors curriculum and before they dive kind of into their major classes. Uh, the students in the honors college sit in a class size at about 20, where our average class size at UNLV sits at about 33. So even though we are a big institution with about 26,000 students on campus, most of our class sizes sit at about 33 students. So you do have the opportunity to engage with faculty and the other students in your classroom. This slide's all about hands-on experience. Um, being in the city of Las Vegas, you do have a lot of opportunities to apply what you're learning. We are a top growing city in terms of new businesses being developed. We're a big growing economy for people moving here. So there's a lot of opportunities for our students to apply what they're learning in the classroom and to get jobs and internships while they're here. Additionally, like I mentioned earlier, we are a top tier research institution and our students have the opportunity to engage in research with their faculty members. So right here, we have one of our photos that you might be looking at, uh, that is a robot. UNLV has competed in the Department of Defense International Robotics Competition, and we've placed high in that. We have a very strong robotics program here at UNLV. And this picture right here is just a great example of our undergraduate students engaging in that research. Uh, they have the opportunity to work with that faculty member who's building that robot and compete in these national competitions as a UNLV student. The academics definitely should excite you here at UNLV, but there's a lot to do outside of campus as outside of your school as well. We encourage students to get involved in one of our over 400 clubs we offer. We also give free tickets to all of our student um, athletic games. So that's a huge thing for our students. They're able to go to the Thomas and Mack Center, which is where our Run and Rebels basketball team plays. You can walk there from the campus, from the resident halls, free tickets, big student section. We also have the Allegiant Stadium, which is where our, the Raiders play as well. That's where the UNLV football team plays. And we have a free shuttle that runs students to and from those games um, during that season. So it's a really great time to be a UNLV student. Uh, lots of fun things to do while you're on campus. There is uh, lots of campus traditions. We do premier UNLV at the start of every school year. It's a big kickoff event where there's fireworks, free t-shirts, we do welcome weeks at the start of the school. So if you're not sure you know, how to get involved or what to do, the organizations are really out there just really promoting themselves and helping you to kind of get comfortable with student organizations on campus. So we encourage you to get involved and enjoy your time here at UNLV. If this is something you're interested in, if you feel like you know, UNLV sounds like a fun place to be and you're wanting to apply, our application is still open for the fall 2022, uh, fall 2022 application. Our deadline is June 1st uh, for this fall. And next year, our application for students who are interested in fall 2023 or beyond, that application will open up on August 1st. We are not competitive admissions process. We have a very transparent admissions process. As long as students meet our GPA requirement, they will be admitted. Uh, so a 3.0 core academic GPA will admit you to UNLV. If you do not have the GPA, we would then ask for you to submit test scores although we do not require test scores if you do maintain that GPA. 
Transfer students can transfer to UNLV with a 2.5 GPA and 24 transfer credit. So if you're a transfer student or if you're thinking about maybe going somewhere else this first year and transferring to UNLV, we do accept transfer students after one year as well. As I was just kind of mentioning some of our deadlines we have coming up, June 1st is our deadline for this fall and our priority deadline for next fall will be November 15th. So if you wanna secure your scalp, the most scholarships and financial aid, we encourage you to get that application in early. And that's gonna round me to the end of my session. If you are interested in learning more, we have a plethora of visits on our website, both virtual and in person. And on April 23rd, we're actually offering our Rebel Preview open house. Uh, so we encourage you to come check us out then. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be available in the chat for you guys. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for sharing UNLV. All right. Just a reminder to our attendees, don't forget, you can use the, the Q&A, sorry, that Q&A button to ask any questions that you might have for the schools that have already presented and for our schools that are still to come. We are going to next hear from the University of North Texas. Hello, everyone. I hope you all could see my screen. I have a double screen, so it's kind of funky, but yes, it, it's all good. We can see you okay. and hear you. All set. Great. Perfect. Thank you. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Eva Garza, and I am an admissions counselor at the University of North Texas. And I'm so happy I'm here. I'm talking to you guys a little bit about who UNT is and what we have to offer. So UNT is located in Denton, Texas, so roughly 45 minutes um, north of Dallas and Fort Worth. So we are located in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, a um, great location to be at. Uh, we also do have a satellite campus located in Frisco, Texas. Um, so it is up and coming, it is growing. So in 2023, um, our Frisco campus is gonna have a residence hall. It's gonna have a lot more classes being offered there, but right now it's in a great location. Uh, we have a lot of amazing partnerships in the city of Frisco. Um, we are literally walking distance from the Dallas Cowboys headquarters, which is really exciting because the University of North Texas is the only university partnered with an NFL team uh, with the Dallas Cowboys, which is really exciting. So if you are a Cowboys fan, great, if not totally okay, um, but that is something really cool. Frisco campus. Our Denton campus is our main campus. It is in a great little uh, community. Um, you can see pictures right here about uh, our awesome Denton community. Um, and it's a great location to be at as well. So uh, UNT has been here for a while. We uh, were founded in 1890, and this is just a little bit of history and traditions about UNT, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, we are known as the Mean Green. So uh, we do say go Mean Green. We throw our eagle club in the air uh, whenever we say hello, and we want to cheer for our university. So who is UNT? Well, at UNT, we do have over 42,000 students. So we are a pretty large university, but I promise it doesn't feel like that. I am a UNT alumni myself. Um, so I've definitely been a, a part of the long walks at UNT, uh, but it is a big university with a small university feel. Our teacher or professor to student ratio is one uh, professor per 23 students. So not that, not that large, still pretty small. Uh, at UNT, we are known to be a very diverse school, which is something that I love about UNT. We do represent over 140 different countries. So we have students from all around the world that come to UNT, which is really exciting. Um, so you'll definitely see different flags around campus from different countries with different parades with the flags, which is really, really exciting. Um, so on the right side of my presentation, you can see the data of um, our percentage of student ethnicity, which is really exciting. Um, so UNT is a Hispanic serving institution with approximately over 26% of our student population being Hispanic serving students, which is really exciting, especially being Hispanic myself. Uh, so at UNT, we do have over 40% of our student population be first generation students. So that is a plus. Uh, we have great organizations for our both our first generation and Hispanic students uh, where uh, you all can just get involved and see connected. Um, UNT is also classified as a tier one research university by Carnegie Classification Institutions of Higher Ed. It's a long thing to say, tongue twister, but uh, we are classified as a research school. So if you are um, in a degree 
that has to do a lot of research as an undergraduate student, that's really exciting because you'll get to do that. So at UNT, we like to say that we are one university with 12 colleges located in Denton, Frisco, and online. Uh, we do have over 100 and different bachelor's degrees. Um, so hopefully we have something that you are interested in. But here on the slide, uh, we like to name a few of our nationally recognized undergraduate programs. Um, but of course, we have so many others that you can find on our website. So definitely check that out and see if we have what you are looking into studying. So our campus life. So we do have over 425 different student organizations, varying from academic and professional, Greek life, religious organizations, LGBTQ organizations, social service ones, club sports, and of course, student government. Um, so hopefully we have something that uh, you are interested in being involved in. And if we don't, you're always welcome to start your own organization. Um, but we always have fun concerts that happen around campus. We are a big music school. So you will always hear music on campus, whether it is outside or in a building, uh, which makes UNT so special. Um, so we do host over a thousand free concerts within the College of Music at UNT a year, which is really exciting. So students get to go to all of those um, and just support our College of Music students. So housing and dining, our students, our freshman year students, our first year students are required to live on campus. Uh, UNT has been voted and has been nominated and is really known for its food, which is really exciting. Uh, we do have uh, chefs on campus that make all of our food fresh, which is great. Um, so you guys will definitely be eating really good at UNT. So it's basically like if your parents are cooking for you at UNT. Uh, we do have an, one of the largest vegan vegetarian dining halls on our campus. We do have an allergy-free dining hall. Uh, and then we have other dining halls that are great that have a variety of different food from fried chicken to barbecue to mac and cheese to pizza, lettuce or salad, sorry fresh ice cream. We do have a bakery on our campus where they make all of our pastries, baked goods. So you'll definitely be eating really, really good on campus, but you're not going to get your freshman 15 because you will be walking a lot. So no worries. Uh, but yeah, we have a variety of different food options for our students. Uh, at UNT, we have a variety of different sports. So students um, are able to come to our athletic games completely for free. Um, so here you'll just see a little bit of our different athletic teams that we have on our campus. Um, of course, student support is really important for our students. So we uh, care for you guys and we want you guys to succeed. So we have a variety of different offices that are here to assist you guys. So make sure to check that out. Um, one of the biggest one that I always talk about is the Career Center. We want you guys to find a job while you guys are student on campus and out of college too. So Career Center is here to help you guys. Um, so Emma, we have hit the end of your six minutes. Oh, I know sorry. It, I know it flies by so fast yes. for all of us. I know. So I, know. I want to make okay. sure you can get your info to the chat too. Yes, of course. So sorry about that. But if you guys have more questions, feel free to check us out on the chat and um, online. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing all about the University of North Texas. We are going to hear next from the University of New Mexico. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, my name is Camille Richter and I am with the University of New Mexico Office of Admissions. Um, I'm excited to share with you about why you should choose UNM. The two biggest things I really want students to take away about UNM is the opportunities that we have on campus we're partnered with the growing economy in the Albuquerque area, um, which means that our students get tons of hands-on experience, internships, and job opportunities after graduation. We also have a really strong community. Um, we are a Hispanic serving institution, as well as many of these institutions that have already presented. So um, we definitely pride ourselves in our diversity. Um, we also have over 50% first-generation students. So I feel every student that comes to campus is able to find a place to call home and be successful. We have over 200 degree programs available. Um, these are our different colleges. So there's really a path for every student in terms of where you want to go academically. I encourage you to utilize this website, degrees.unm.edu to explore all the majors in those colleges and see you know, where your academic path is going to lead you. I'm gonna highlight some of our top schools. Um, our School of Engineering is ranked within the top 100 nationally. It's a very hands-on program. We are partnered with national laboratories in the area, Sandia National Laboratories, Los Alamos National Laboratories. So our students really benefit from internship experiences and job opportunities after graduation. 
We're 64th in the nation for fine arts, top 10 in the nation for photography. I always like to say Albuquerque is a land of creatives. I feel like the landscape kind of lends itself to that. Um, we have an amazing film and digital arts program. If you didn't know, Albuquerque is um, a booming economy for the film industry outside of Hollywood. So Netflix Studios is here, NBC Studios is here, and we are partnered with Netflix Studios. We have our own film studio right next to Netflix. So a lot of our students are able to get jobs and internships with them. Our School of Architecture, it's the only one in the state of New Mexico, and we do have a pre-professional concentration. So you can get your foot into the architecture field as an undergraduate, which is always great. Um, Anderson School of Management, um, definitely lots of options if you want to go the business route. Um, we also have a top tier MBA program if you know that you want to go on to grad school. Um, any of those future lawyers out there know that we have a wonderful law program. It is a smaller law program, so you really get to know your professors and it's top ranked for environmental law. And then finally, our health sciences programs. Um, these are probably our most popular programs. We're in the top 6% nationally um, for our nursing program. So it's a very competitive, prestigious program. Um, we also have a wonderful med school. So if you're looking to become a doctor in the future, we can help you get there. We are partnered with UNM hospitals. So you're gonna get a lot of hands-on experience in these majors. We are a Research One Institute, um, which is just a great way of saying that um, we have the highest levels of research happening on campus. But the unique thing about UNM is that we really want to get undergraduates involved in that research. Um, it's one of our goals as an institution. So just know that you can get involved in research as early as your freshman year at UNM. We also have an amazing honors college. Um, this will give you the chance to take um, kind of more academically challenging classes in a smaller setting. It does have a separate application and some scholarships associated with it. We talked a little bit about community and the strength of our community. Um, we have over 300 clubs and organizations, as well as our student centers on campus, like El Centro de la Raza and um, American Indian Student Services, Veteran Resource Center. We are very military and veteran friendly, but really there's a place for everybody to find their connection to campus, um, whether it's through politics, religion, um, sports. We even have an esports club. So definitely a place for you to call home and find your friend group and, you know, be successful as a student. Oops, sorry. <laughs> this is a breakdown of our cost of attendance. Um, I do just want to make sure that you know, um, if you're coming from Texas, um, that is our non-resident tuition rate, but we have some amazing scholarships that are most likely going to bring you down to our resident tuition rate. Our non-resident scholarships are listed here. I will say that the only one that requires a separate application is the Regent Scholarship. So if you're interested in applying for that, you're a high achieving student, definitely encourage you to apply um, by December 1st, um, both to UNM as well as to the Regent Scholarship applica application. We have our Amigo Scholarship. Um, this one's gonna bring you down to our in-state tuition rate with a $200 a year stipend. And then we have the Louie or the Wooey with the 2.8 GPA, we can get you to 1.5 times our in-state tuition rate. Um, and then with the Louie or the Wooey Plus, um, if you apply and you have a 3.0, um, we can get you to our in-state tuition rate. Um, keep in mind those last three scholarships I mentioned do not require a separate application, just that you apply by the deadline. Our applications are already open for fall 2020, um, for fall 2023. Um, so if there are any juniors in the building, you can already apply. Um, you just go to apply.unm.edu. We are on rolling admissions too. So any seniors who haven't had a chance to apply, I encourage you to go ahead and apply. We are still awarding some of those non-resident scholarships. We award until we don't have any money left. So definitely, if you're interested in coming um, to UNM, I encourage you to check that out. We're waiving ACT and SAT scores this year. I mean, looking to waive them in the future. And we will eventually need your college, um, your high school transcripts, as well as any dual credit college transcripts that you have. Um, this is my contact information, but I'll throw it in the chat because I know my time is up, but I really appreciate it. And just reach out if you guys have any questions. Wonderful. Thank you so much for presenting about the University of New Mexico. All right, we're on to our sixth school of the six by six, University of the Incarnate Word.
unmuted. There we go. Yeah, yeah everything? I, okay. that's what I was about to say. Yep, so sorry. Okay, everything looks good now. Awesome, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Edward Clark. I'm a freshman admissions counselor over at the University of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Texas. Oops. There we go. University of the Incarnate Word we were founded in 1881 by the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word. They actually started as a hospital, then went on to be a college, and then now a university. Uh, we have over 90 undergraduate degree programs. So that's everything you can think of, really, from criminal justice, 3D animation, game design, nursing, you name it, we got it, or something pretty close to it, right? Uh, yes, we're located in the beautiful city of San Antonio, Texas, but we do have a large study abroad program. Um, with over 140 sister schools located in over 40 countries for you to choose from. So lots of opportunity for you to study abroad. Uh, a few of our uh, academic programs are our colleges and schools here. Um, really popular programs at UOW are going to be nursing. We have one of the top nursing programs in the state of Texas, a 99% NCLEX passing rate. So exam you have to take after nursing school, our students are passing with really high scores, as well as our 3D and animation game design program is really popular as well. Faculty uh, credited with making games like Call of Duty Ghost and The Amazing Spider-Man as well as our College Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences um, in our business school uh, also have top ranking programs as well. We also have four professional schools, our pharmacy, osteopathic medicine, physical therapy, and Rosenberg School of Optometry are all really popular programs. Again, starting out as hospital, we're really known for our medical programs. Uh, fun fact, for first time students, uh, they have the opportunity to be directly admitted into one of these professional schools if they meet the GPA requirements. That is a 3.7 or higher cumulative GPA on a 4.0 scale, as well as a math and science GPA as well. They will Their application will automatically be sent over to the direct admit committee, no matter what major they apply for. So that's a really good opportunity if you know you're interested in the health professions. However, I have to say back on the last slide, we do have a class uh, student teacher ratio of 12 to 1 so really valuing that small class size so if that's something that you're interested in definitely look into uiw campus life so yes we're located in the seventh largest city in the united states uh, lots and lots of happening san antonio is growing uh, we're right across the highway from the san antonio zoo uh, close to downtown so lots to do in the area Events and organizations, UIW has over 90 student clubs ignore, and, and organizations. That's really everything you think of from the esports club, the economics club, the nursing society. So lots to do to get involved on campus. Um, always doing some sort of events. We have a big event around Christmas time where we put Christmas lights on all of our trees. So lots of opportunity for you and your family to come out and enjoy the community as well. At UIW, we want to see you be successful inside and outside of the classroom. We have a few offices to help with that. Our advising, our career services, and the tutoring services are there to help you. Uh, one of my favorites is going to be career services. It's never too early to start looking for a job um, or getting some experience. They help with mock interviews, uh, professional dress wear, as well as recruiting events, which is really cool. Uh, residence life. So first time students are not required to live on campus. I'll say that one more time. First time students are not required to live on campus. As freshmen, first time students have a few different options uh, to choose between single and double rooms. Um, the sooner the better. We know that everyone kind of wants to live alone, so those rooms do tend to go first. Uh, once you become an upper class, you have a few more options, specifically uh, speaking to single rooms and apartment style living as well. Campus dining, some of the best food. I can attest to that. I'm an alumni of UIW. Um, our SEC dining hall is going to be all you can eat, pizza, pasta, everything you can think of, as well as our Luciano's is going to be open late. Pizza, pasta, wings, cheesecake is really good, as well as we also have a Chick-fil-A. So um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, your chicken minis, all of that good stuff, as well as the Starbucks. Uh, it's going to be located in our library. Athletics, we are a division one athletic institution, over 14 different sports teams, synchronized swimming, uh, baseball, basketball, football. Um, we are moving athletic conferences. We're moving to the Western Athletic Conferences starting this summer to play some even bigger and better teams. So we're super proud about that. Scholarships financial aid. Our scholarships actually went up. This slide is going to say $5,000, but now students have the opportunity to receive anywhere between seven and seven to $20,000 when they apply to UIW. Um, all first time students receive one. It's merit based off your high school GPA. 
Uh, some of our other offices also offer uh, scholarships, art, theater, ROTC. Uh, and if you have a sibling that happens to be attending UIW at the same time, they will also receive a discount, which is pretty cool. If you happen to be graduating from a Catholic high school, you also will receive an additional $2,000. Application process is quick, it's easy. Uh, we accept applications using the Common App or Applied Text. We recommend you apply directly through our website. Um, the application, again, it's free, only takes about 15 minutes to complete, and we also receive it within 24 hours. We are test optional. You don't have to submit ACT or SAT scores, really just looking to see your high school transcript as well as a completed application, okay? Um, please connect with us. We'd love to hear from you. I put my information in the chat as well as some of the links to different some of our academic programs, our study abroad, as well as my email uh, for you to chat with me. Thank you. Thank you so much for wrapping up our six by six with University of the Incarnate Word. All right, we still have a few minutes together. I want to make sure that everyone watching has a chance to grab that contact information. So I would love to invite um, each of our representatives to come back together, um, one representative from each school to come back on camera. We have time for a live Q&A question. We're going to go in the same order that you presented. So we'll start with Texas Tech work our way to University of Incarnate Word. When the representative ahead of you finishes, just feel free to turn on your microphone and answer. We'll just flow from person to person. All right, so the question we're gonna answer, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? You're the pros, and I know that you each have a top tip to share. So my tip would be, you will not know what university is right for you until you step foot on that campus, network with those students, talk to faculty and staff. It's really cheesy to say, but you'll feel at home when you are on the right um, institution's campus. So go in and view, especially those top two or three institutions you're looking at, make an attempt to go to a special event or go to a just regular campus tour and ask all the questions that you have so you can make the best decision possible. Yeah, and just like she mentioned earlier, um, you won't know what your best fit is of a school until you set foot on that campus and just look and learn about the different programs. If there's something that you're interested in, definitely um, go and visit that campus, learn more about it. Um, and don't be afraid to ask any questions. We're here to help you and we're here to support you through your college process. So never be afraid to ask any questions. Kelsey at UNLV. Oh, sorry, I was one off. I was waiting for another person. <laughs> um, my best advice is just don't compare your process to anyone else's. Uh, this is a very individual experience. And I know that in high school, you have a lot of close friends. Uh, it's important you kind of branch out and make best decisions for yourself right now. Um, and going off of Kelsey, I think it's important to remember that this is going to be your experience. So uh, definitely pick the school that is right for you. Um, I definitely went to a school that I didn't know anyone and I more than 10 hours away from home. So definitely pick something that you know you're going to have the best experience and that's going to be the best fit for you and not base it off of your parents or your friends. I just want to add, I would recommend using the resources that you have available to you. Um, you know, counselors are an amazing resource. Utilize them, schedule appointments with them. Um, you know, us recruiters, uh, folks on the admission side of things, we love to answer questions. So reach out to us, um, you know, ask those questions and use the resources you have available to you. I think everyone took what I was going to say, but um, I definitely would say don't be afraid um, to compare institutions. Go to the different programs, websites, look at the different programs, say, OK, I really want to do this. Don't be afraid to do that. Ask as many questions as possible. I think that's really when you will kind of see what that program is, what program best fits you. And those, as well as don't be afraid to ask us. We're here to help you throughout, through that journey. Um, I know sometimes it's a little bit scary, you think we're gonna be like, no, come to me, but we want you to make the best decision that's right for you. Yeah. I think that I love this kind of question because I love when the heads start nodding. And I hope that shows everyone who's watching, like this is real deal information from representatives at a range of schools. And um, it, I, really it is the best advice. And I also hope this presentation shows you that these admissions counselors are approachable, that they and their colleagues are really here to help and be your number one resource. They want you to ask 
like you said, they want, they want to answer those questions. They want you to ask about what matters to you. And these six minutes, it's just a sneak peek. There is so much more to each of these campuses, so much more to explore. So I hope maybe tonight one school brought you here, but now you're thinking, I have to go look at all of these other schools because you might have found a new, a new perfect uh, right fit for you that you are just learning about as you start this journey. All right, we are at the end of our time together. So the housekeeping, thank you representatives for being here. You represented not just the facts, the figures, but the passion you have for your students' experiences in and out of the classroom. For everyone watching, we are so glad you took time out of your day for this. When you close your window, there'll be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. We encourage you to check to the schedule. We've got one more round so you can still join us. And we hope that you will come back to learn about some more great schools. You're also gonna be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Texas. That is the same website where you registered. Thanks again, everyone for taking time out of your day and all of the best as you go forward in your college search process. It is a lot of work, but I promise it's a lot of good fun for your venture ahead. Good night, everyone.